Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we are gonna keep going with our series for our feet release. So today you can be sitting. If it's comfortable for you, sit down on the ground. It's fantastic. If not, you can sit down on a chair, on a cushion, whatever is comfortable for you. Okay, so we're gonna start. This time we're gonna use our hands and our feet. So we're gonna take our right foot Mm -hmm. And we're going to bring our hand in, our fingers inside our toes. Okay. If this position, if catching your foot and hold your, your toes with your fingers is not possible for you, you don't worry about that. You're just going to hold the back of the, of the knee and you're just going to do the same. Okay. So don't worry about that. But if it's possible, we go ahead. So let's go. So we are going to put our fingers in between our toes. Oops, <laughs> and then from here. What we are gonna do, we're just gonna rotate in one direction. Ah, that's good. Gently, soft, nice, just to release. Super. Of course, bringing the fingers inside your toes, it helps to spread the toes. It helps us to stimulate more the muscles in our feet. But if it's not possible, it's okay. We try to be very gently in this part. That's good. Fantastic. Again, if we can hold our foot, just go hold the back of the leg and we just go circle for one minute. We keep going. And again, try to don't force. Just be aware how your feet feels today. And we're just gonna, you just want to release. Try to avoid any clicking in your ankles. So if we have that clicking, we try to go, don't go that far. You can always hold your ankle with your other hand. We're going to change the direction for another minute. That's good. A nice release. Super. And again, even with the toes, we can move a little, with the fingers, we can move a little bit your toes. Just give you a little bit of movement as well trying to release as well. But remember, it's don't force yourself to hold your toes or bring your fingers inside your toes. If it's not possible, just again, bring your hands at the back of the knee and rotate. You don't have to be, um, you don't be, you don't have to be sitting on the floor. So you can be on a chair, on your bed, you know, even lying if you prefer. You know, it'd be very comfortable for some of us to be lying, you know. And we just go here. But I, I kind of encourage you to try to bring your fingers inside your toes. We're going to release. And let's go. Because remember, let's go to the other side. Because we can do it like a lying down and just rotate our foot on the other side. If you feel comfortable as well. But again, I encourage you to bring your fingers inside your toes if it's possible. Why? First, let's start rotating in one direction. Why? Because normally with our shoes, our toes compress and it becomes like that, you know, and we really lose mobility. After years of using our shoes, we cannot open the toes. And some of you, you will feel that sensation very difficult, you know. Like in the last video, it was difficult for some of us to lift the sock because we lose the mobility because the shoe. And we're supposed to have the same mobility in our toes as our fingers. So that's why it's important. And the most important is that that really is going to affect our leg and our muscles in our leg and of course our joints in our legs. So that's why it's good to maintain mobility our toes and our feet super so maybe at the beginning we cannot catch the toes until we have more flexibility in our legs and our hips then we try to move into that point change the direction everybody that's good and remember you can be sitting wherever you want even I think so you can do this line look at you can catch your foot and your leg. Of course, this is a little bit more uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, for me, it's uncomfortable. Maybe for you, it will be better. Try to look for a position. It's really nice, and you feel a nice release. So you can practice 
often <laughs> because remember it's okay for once a month mm, won't help us too much <laughs> if we find if we have very tense feet very good it is good yeah so of course the rotation of the ankles is gonna help us you know opening the toes inside the, the opening the fingers inside your toes it will give you a really good plus for you release fantastic good and we release and we're just gonna bring our foot at the front mm -hmm. in front of us we can start with the right foot and here what we are gonna do is again just bring our toes in and bring our toes out so you really help us with your hand in and out you can bring your foot at the top and just here just the toes in you press it in, out, and again. If this um, um, video was challenged for you because you cannot reach your feet with your hands, it's uncomfortable, these kind of positions, try to go with the other ones, which is going to be the same release for your toes and your feet. Even you can use your whole palm, you know, like this, just pressing in and pushing away. That's good fantastic and now what we are gonna do is just gonna take our foot from on the side and we're just gonna kind of extend it but at the same time from inside you with your thumbs you press in and you kind of do it like that with your foot just like that and you keep going the same sensation all the way and your thumbs are gonna be at the middle of your foot and we just kind of this part of the front kind of extended sideways, but the thumbs press in. Not too much, and we just go as far as we can. And we come back, and we go deep into the toes. Yeah, but remember, your fingers in. I'm going to move a little bit on the back, so you can see how my thumbs are going. Oh, that's good. And this is the important part in the ball of your feet. That you really bring the toes down and you can spread the front it feels good super well done we change the leg so first we go in and then out and in and you can use your whole palm and help you with the two hands you just want the toes move out and in just the toes great and it's good, it's just try to extend these muscles at the front of the foot and of course the muscles who connect with your toes. And nice mobility. So again, if you you wear if you wear a very tight shoes, you will need this one. Because you know after you will start to have problems, you know, a lot of people, you know, after your forties, you know, when you are young you don't feel this kind of problems but then after you start to feel problems with the hips with the knees and it's because you don't have the mobility of your feet so really you cannot overuse or overstress your joints super so after this we go to the massage so thumbs in the middle of the foot mm -hmm. and with the other we just kind of open up onto the side and we keep going we cannot go too deep because we have the ankle but you use as much as we can go. And that is stimulation as well of the blood. So it's good. Fantastic. That's it. You're really gonna feel even calm. And remember, always accompany your massage or your stretch with your breath. Always go with your breath. Deep and long. Inhale and exhale. How oh, it feels good? Yeah, it feels really good. And we release. We can extend our legs away and we're just gonna paddle. Mm -hmm. Just like that, flex and point. If you cannot sit down and on the ground, you can do it on a chair as well. 
it doesn't matter if the legs are down. Of course, if the legs are down, it's going to be more, more stress for the blood, you know, because the blood needs to come back again all the way. So it's better to do it on the floor. If you don't feel comfortable completely on the floor, you can lie down on your back and as well do it. So we just hold here, paddling with our feet. Inhale. And exhale, releasing. Don't worry if you feel tense, if you feel tight. That's what we are doing. And again, when you are flexing your foot, try to spread your toes. And then when you go down, that sensation to squeeze the toes as we did with the hands. Remember that sensation? Super. We keep going. And try to release as much as we can. Well done. How you feel? This is hopefully you. I hope you feel good. This is our last stretch. Remember, you can repeat them if you want. So try to do every day something for your feet, for your spine, for your body, because you use it all day long. So it's good to give a stretch. You will feel very good. It is a habit that becomes a habit, like a wash your mouth, like a brush your hair. Thank you so much to join us. We hope you like it and we see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and leave us a comment. Thank you.